Welcome back to Mommy Geeks Out. Game of Thrones is back. It's the series finale. It's probably the only finale we're ever going to get. Because George is going to die before he ever writes the other book. Or he's just never going to write the last book. You know? I mean, I just... So whatever happens on the show to me is canon. And that's it. Like, we just have to go with that. So I have some cool figures to show you today. This is a different line. A newer line from Funko. These are the Funko Five Star figures. Now, I only got three of them because I do not need a Night King. Don't want a Night King, don't need a Night King. So I got John, I got Danny, and I got Tyrion. And these are really cute. These remind me a little bit, like, they're kind of a slight ripoff on Nendoroids, except for they don't have all the cool changing faceplates and arms and accessories, etc. And they come in this cool little box. You can see his little face. And then there's got Velcro. And then it opens. I think they intend for you to keep them in the box. Ain't nobody got time for that. And while I open John Tyrion, there you go, there's Tyrion in his little box. And Danny, Daenerys Targaryen, one of my favorite characters, literary or television of all time. I would also like to give you my predictions, my top five predictions for what is going to happen on Game of Thrones and how things are going to go this season. So we're going to start with Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister is one of my absolute favorite characters on the show. Um, Peter Dinklage just totally brought Tyrion to life. I loved Tyrion in the books, but I love him more in the show. So let's see, is there a way to, I, yeah, I think it's easy, you can easily put them back in their box if you want to. Um, but he is restrained by Kajinkers. Why? Where did you think he was going to go? Right? Um, oh, poor Tyrion. He's imprisoned in his little packaging. Um, so Tyrion is my first prediction. It's prediction number five. And it's not a happy prediction. Tyrion's not going to make it. Um, he's going to die in a very noble way, is my prediction. Um, but I think that that, that were, were his his... His character arc ends with the ending of the story. But I think he's very instrumental, as he always has been, in the winning of the battle. I think we do win. I think we do fight back the White Walkers. I don't think, by the way, I don't think that we entirely defeat the White Walkers. Remember, they were defeated a thousand years ago, but they came back. So I think that we defeat them, but not permanently. But, you know, we buy us another thousand years to figure it out and rebuild that wall. My tea got warm. Like, it's not hot anymore. I'm very annoyed. I hate that. That is not tasty. Okay. So, let's take a close-up look at Tyrion with his little... I love that his wine has... his wine glass has wine in it. I like that he's got all his beat up scars. I do. I, he's very cute. I love that he's like a little chibi Tyrion, but he's still beat up. Um, his arms are articulated, which is very cute. Um, and his head sort of swivels from side to side. But he cannot hold, can you hold your glass of wine? Oh yes, he can hold his glass of wine. And this is, this is joy for me. And, and Tyrion, as we know. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. He is absolutely adorable. Oh, I love him. So, um, speaking of Tyrion and the Lannisters, my prediction number four for what's going to happen here in this final, final season of Game of Thrones, I think Jamie is going to end up killing Cersei. I think he's going to have to do it. I think it's, it's going to destroy him to do it. Um, I suspect that we have enough of a time jump that we might see. Okay. I don't want him to kill his child, so <laughs> I, um, I, I suspect, you know, I, I don't want him to, to do something incredibly horrible because she is pregnant, but I do think he is going to um, uh, kill Cersei. So I think, my hope is that there's a time skip and she has the baby. And so then Jamie gets to keep the baby. Um, but I do think that Jamie and Cersei... Uh, it's going to end badly, and I also don't think Jamie ends up making it out of this alive. 
So I think the Lannisters do not make it to the Iron Throne for sure, uh, permanently, because, I mean, Cersei's already sitting there. And uh, I don't think that they are ultimately the people who end up on the Iron Throne. I do not think it is a Lannister. Um, let's now move on to Jon. Jon Snow. What I love about Jon is that he comes with Ghost. And uh, Ghost has been a faithful companion for him through all of Jon's trials and tribulations. And, you know, Jon, uh, like, you know, I know there are people who are, like, freaked out by the whole Jon and Danny thing. I mean, their relationship makes total sense to me. And the fact that their aunt and, and nephew, well, they had no way of knowing that, first of all. Um, second of all, they've both been through so much. Like, let them have, like, like a little happiness. Like, a moment of happiness, please. They deserve it. They really deserve it. john has been through a lot. He's got his Valerian steel sword. Okay, was anybody else, like, weirded out by, like, that, that Gendry Arya moment where they, like, were gonna try to force, like, a Gendry Arya romance on us for some reason? <laughs> it's just like, okay, stop. Stop, HBO. Just stop. We do not have time for an Arya Gendry uh, subplot, please. Just make, make a sword, Gendry, make a sword, and stop making moon eyes at her. And maybe he wasn't making moon eyes at her. Maybe he was just like, whoa, Arya, holy, whoa. Um, so here's John. Um, John looks sad. John always looks sad and worried, though, doesn't he? All right, can you hold your sword? Yes, can you hold your sword like a good boy? All right, let me put it in the hand. Here we go. Come on, hold your sword. Hold your Valerian seal. S -s -s Valerian seal, yes. It's a Valerian seal. There, because, you know, there were other things in Valeria other than just steel. They also had um, their own sea world. <laughs> All right, so he can hold his sword. Yay! And I love that he comes with ghost. So let's take a closer look at John. He's got his cool John Snow hair going. Um, but I do think that John's going to die. <laughs> it's like my predictions for Game of Thrones is like pretty much like nobody makes it. No. Um, I, I think ultimately we defeat the White Walkers, but I don't think John makes it. Um, why? Because I think he, he was brought back for a reason, and I think that reason is to get everybody to the point where they can defeat or push back the White Walkers. I think he's done an amazing job being a champion of the Wildlings. Um, I think his true love is, is Egret, sorry, and, uh, you know, Jon Snow knows nothing. And uh, I, don't, I don't think he makes it. I don't think he makes it. I think he and Ghost go out in a blaze of glory, but I don't think he makes it. Mm, I feel so bad saying that. But, I mean, not everybody can make it. It's Game of Thrones. Okay, remember season one of Game of Thrones? Where if you hadn't read the books, I would have loved to have seen people who hadn't read the books. Um, well, actually, I did. I saw my husband. I saw my husband. I mean, he hadn't read the books, and I was like, hey... You want to watch Game of Thrones? And he was just like, oh, it just happened. <laughs> and I was like, you thought he was the main character. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Daenerys. All right, so now we need to talk about, first of all, we need to talk about how much I love Daenerys. Because I do. I think Danny is amazing. I think um, her character arc is my favorite. Um, and I think, I just think she's an amazing, an amazing woman, an amazing person, an amazingly resilient person. I think she's a symbol for resiliency. Um, I mean, you know, she was 14 when she was basically sold in marriage to, um, a brutal, you know, basically Genghis Khan leader. Um, and I think that in some ways... Um, I loved the Khal Drogo Daenerys relationship. What I didn't like was that it almost um, supported a certain type of, of, of cultural mythology around that a woman can be sold into marriage or into, uh, you know, forced into a physical relationship with a man, oh, but then she can fall in love with him. Um, I don't think that can happen. I'm just saying. Um, I would have preferred it if he were sort of like, yeah, I'm going to wait until you grow up, but then that's not the way things work. Um, but so here's Daenerys. Daenerys has 
Um, and I didn't notice this. I, I, I somebody pointed it out on Nerdist, I think, um, or oh, I think it was a redditor posted out. And let's take a closer look. And and I think this, I think this is Drogon. I think with her um, that uh, that Danny's braids are um, the the way she's got her hair braided is representative of all the battles that she's won. But there is a point in her welcome, like when she first comes to King's Landing, where they switched her wigs. So somebody in wardrobe was not taking their pictures and their notes like they were supposed to. So there's a little bit of a, um, a shift. I kind of wish Danny had something she could hold. Um, I don't know what Danny would hold, but I would like for her to have something to hold. The men have something to hold. Why does Daenerys not have something to hold? Not sure. So my last prediction is that Daenerys does not, well, okay. Um, actually, I have two more predictions. So, second to last prediction has to do with Daenerys. I think Daenerys goes crazy. I think it probably happens because the dragons get killed. And they've been sort of seeding hints in there a little bit about um, now that Danny's in Westeros. Um, she's getting the itch to go nuts. Um, and, you know, when she was out there on her own, um, the extremes that she was willing to go to made sense. And now that she has to work with other people uh, and form alliances, I think that her unwillingness to cooperate is going to be a problem. And I think that we might see some of the Targaryen madness, especially if something happens to the dragons. I mean, we've already lost one. And I think when she sees one of her dragons is now a White Walker, that's going to be really hard for her. So I think that Danny is, um, is going to go nuts. And I don't think she ultimately sits on the Iron Throne, although I want Daenerys on the Iron Throne. It seems like an obvious choice, and so I'm thinking that's not what's going to happen. So, Mommy... What is your prediction for who ends up on the Iron Throne? Here's my prediction. Are you ready? Sansa. That's right. Sansa Stark ends up being the person on the Iron Throne. Now, I have, I, I originally thought that um, that the hand of the queen, I was like, well, and Arya would be the hand of the queen. But Arya is not going to want that. Arya is going to want to always remain in the shadows. So she's going to be like the new little finger... Um, you know, Varys kind of in the shadows, a spider kind of murderer, also assassin. Um, so, so then, who would be the hand of the queen if if Sansa becomes uh, the person sitting on the Iron Throne? Well, there are there are several options of people that I think will will actually live, <laughs> but but. I think that um, I think that the, the head of the army. I think it's going to be a very female thing. So I think Brienne of Tarth ends up becoming the leader of the armies, and the hand of the queen. Samuel Tarly. Yep, that's what I think. So those are my predictions at the moment. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what your predictions are. For who ends up on the Iron Throne, who lives, who dies, uh, who goes crazy, and uh, do we ultimately defeat the White Walkers, or do we just sort of push them back and underground and for another thousand years and see what happens? So thank you so much for watching Mommy Geeks Out. Let me know what you think of the Funko Five Star figures. They have these, uh, they have some Disney ones, and I'm just, I don't know, they're cute but I would only get them for something that I'm like really into, in this case, Game of Thrones. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to comment, subscribe, smash that like button, and I will see you again real soon. Bye!